Meanwhile, back here at home, hundreds of people gathered at Philadelphia City Hall today to show their support for the people of Ukraine. Our Marcus Espinosa is live in Old City for us tonight. Marcus, you were there. Hey, Chris, and right now I'm in front of Independence Hall, where, the, where, of course, the United States declared its independence from Great Britain. And right now, Ukraine is trying to retain its independence as it tries to fight off Russia. And I spoke with native Ukrainians who live here now. They're terrified. They're sad. They're upset for their family members and friends right now as they try to survive a war. And I wish it would never happen in my life. USA, help Ukraine! An emergency rally for an emergency situation happening some 5,000 miles away carries with it a sense of urgency and passion. It's uh, in word, in one word, it's awful because like Russia attacks civilian people, not just like strategic places, but also civilian people. And a lot of my friends, family, they're hiding underground like in houses. Native Ukrainian Karina Smirnova, along with her friend, joined a rally for Ukraine at City Hall today in Philadelphia. Hundreds of people showed up demanding Russia end its crusade against Ukraine. Stop the war! Putin! Stop Putin! Sadly, the fighting continues into its second full day in Ukraine. He doesn't want to just part of Ukraine. He actually wanted the whole country of Ukraine. And that sick bastard have to pay for everything. And I wish, you know, like he would be dead right now. Sorry, but that's how I feel. Ukrainian Americans who still have loved ones in Ukraine say they yo yo between emotions of anger, disbelief, amazement, and sadness. My family and my friends over there, they are really scared. They are hiding. Some of them already uh, surrounded by Russians. They are like ready to give up because they are really don't know like how they can escape from Russians because they are attacking orphanages, kindergartens, they are attacking people trying to flee with their kids to the border of Poland. So while Russian forces march and Ukrainians fight, the U.S. imposes sanctions, sends military supplies and appeals for a sensible solution. We are our own country, our own nation, and we want to be free from Putin. Chris, it can seem a bit hopeless and, and, and kind of depressing right now to think, what can I do from so far away? But there are things that you can do. Ukrainians asking Americans to write letters to their local congressmen, to their city officials. And then another thing, city officials and state officials were at that rally today promising to try to put into action bans on any sort of Russian goods that the state or the city uses right now. That'll take a while to become official, but they have made that declaration and they encourage everyone to stop buying Russian, Russian goods right now until they back out of Ukraine. Okay, Marcus Espinosa on Independence Hall. Thanks, Marcus.